Let's do a camo video. Hey, what about a camo video? Did someone say camouflage? In today's video, it's all about camouflage. I'm gonna show you how we camouflaged uh, my project table and the keg keeper from the last video, uh, the windshield for the camping stove and the camping table. And then over here, we have the generator sound box. And we'll talk about that in a minute. I've also done this uh, technique on fabric. Uh, I've done an apron and a couple of bags. If you like this video, hit that notification bell and subscribe and you'll be notified whenever a new video comes out. All right, let's talk a little bit more about the sound box. 3500 Predator from Harbor Freight. It's a super quiet generator to begin with, but we made this sound box for it. And the next video will be all about this sound box, so make sure you tune in for that. All right, so we're gonna camouflage this project table. Uh, I've used this uh, table in a lot of projects, but I thought it would be cool to have it camouflaged. So to prep it, I sanded it with uh, with the mouse. This is the 120 grit, and I also used the 220 grit, and then I cleaned it up with the denatured alcohol. Uh, and so it's all prepped and ready. So I'm gonna give it the base coat, and today we're gonna use the, the khaki as the base coat, the army green, the deep forest green, this is the earth brown. And then when we're all done, I wanna give this one uh, some polyurethane on top because who knows what projects I'm gonna end up doing on this table and they might get oily or greasy or maybe they'll need wiped up, I don't know. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll put a base coat on it. Jackie. So I, I kinda of put that table at an angle here because spraying flat seems like it's wasting a lot of paint in the wind. Get a nice base coat on. Shake can vigorously for one minute, 10 to 12 inches away from surface. All right, it's had a chance to dry, had a cup of coffee. Here in the Las Vegas sun, it dried pretty quick, like, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes. So let's talk about the patterns that we're gonna use. We've got the, uh, I call it the giant oak leaf, the smaller oak leaves, aspen leaves, and I don't know if that's a palm leaf or a salamander. Uh, but we're gonna start with this one. We're gonna go random, move to uh, that one, sprinkle in some of these and a couple of that, and we'll see what happens. So we're gonna start with this uh, forest green. Start on the edge. Go, flip it around, and I'll go back around and do that every here and there. Random as we go. All right, now I'll switch colors and patterns. I'm going to move to the uh, darkest color, the black, small oak leaf. I made these patterns a long time ago. I've used them on a lot of different projects and they just seem to keep going. Actually, the more paint they get on them, the better they seem to work. Where'd my table go? Did someone say camouflage? Aspen leaves. Ball's getting awful lonely in there. Good thing I have another. Keep it random. So we had a quick idea here. We're gonna throw in uh, some tools into the mix. And uh, we just gotta do some sparse tools with black. <laughs> All right, that does it. We got the uh, tools on there. We got the pattern on there. We're gonna let it dry, and then we're gonna hit it with some clear coat. All right, it's had time to dry. We're gonna hit it with the clear coat. We've got this uh, oil-based clear satin. Uh, I like it because it says fast dry time. All right, the clear coat's all dry now. Uh, so that pretty much wraps up this project. 
I hope you like today's video on camouflage painting. Make sure you subscribe. I'm glad you watched, and I hope you'll watch again.